You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game on Wallow 267. This is Gilly the Nut, and we got a special guest with us today, hey, the on, one on, and only on, Waka on, Flocka. What the fuck I tell you about introducing? Man, nobody worrying about your net ass. Listen, I say what I say. Listen, don't you ever in your fucking life okay, introduce Yeah, me. I know. Oh, you tough. Nigga, Ooh, I'm Mike, you, bad. you pippin', nigga. Ooh, you bad. Oh, you're fuck bad. You you're tough. About. Yeah, whatever. But listen, Waka, I'm man. I'm glad it's night you the pips. Yeah, you're the nut. Listen, Waka, man, pleasure to have you. This, you know, you right here on Million Dollars Worth of Game, brought to you by Barstool Sports, man. Talk to me, Waka. Talk to me, man. Hey, Gilly, man, I need one of them goddamn, one of them Drake motherfuckers, man. I need one of them Ghost Right albums, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hit these charts, man. A uh, Ghost Right album? That motherfucker hey, ain't hey, I was writing hey, Gil hey, shit, hey, man. Let me just say this. How many fucking albums you got out? About 40? Yeah, I put a lot of CDs out. Bro. You put a lot of, nigga, your body of work is was, unbelievable. Did anybody ever burn you during your journey? Definitely. You got burned. How, well, how, how much you took an L for in the record business? Millions, God, literally damn. millions. I got, I'm telling people, I got, I got burnt by, I got burnt by two business managers, three CPAs. Certified, certified public accountants. Crush me, crush me. Like I ain't even, I ain't even see YouTube money to this day. I'm about to now start doing it. Is you fucking kidding me? Yeah, man, I ain't, that money ain't matter. Well, listen, uh, Waka Flocka. Getting burnt is brought to you by Tommy John's. Draw Listen, I wear Tommy John's draws due to the fact of they feel good and they feel like I'm naked. I'm not wearing nothing. Like you just you have just have them. And Gil, listen, Gil can tell you. Listen, I gave him some for Valentine's Day. And uh, well, one thing, one thing, huh? Yeah, I gave. I gave no, no, they wasn't. No, no, they Tommy John's. Listen, I gave him some Tommy John. Listen, and, and and the funny thing about them is they feel so good, man. I'm telling you, listen. But what you need to do is you need to go to TommyJohn.com backslash. Or you could say slash or backslash million, and you gonna get twenty percent off. Listen, Tommy John's. Listen, they feel good. They feel great. Feel I'm great. You, listen, they feel. Um, they feel like you ain't got nothing on. I'm talking about you want to be comfortable. I don't know if I want to feel like you I want to be comfortable down that. below. They feel like you raw, and I just I like to be one with the earth. And the only way I could be one with the earth is when I'm wearing Tommy John's and I'm raw, and it just feels it feels good to me. That, I'm just saying that's what I'm wearing. I'm with sweatpants. Man. I mean, that's some strip club drawers. Strip club? What yeah. you mean? I don't. I, you no, know, we used to dance. But you got to wear them Tommy John's when you go to strip club. <laughs> <laughs> See, he be, he, yo, you, you, ever, you ever flash a broad in the strip club? Nah, that's creeped out. Oh, no, I'm just saying, you said you ain't going to wear that, so I ain't know. I ain't know what no, I, said, I, said, I said, you, as in whoever yeah. got the Tommy yeah. John's on. They got to wear them to the strip club, huh? I had them on at the strip club, but that's another story. Ain't nothing really happened, but, you know, my, you know, that's another story. Wifey treated me to the strip club. It was an unbelievable experience. That was the first time I was at the joint since I was dancing back in the day. But that's another story. But, uh, like I say, Tommy John's. Get with Tommy John's. Then. Listen, man, check them out. TommyJohns.com slash millions. Get 20% off. Listen, man, I'm telling you, they're going to feel like you have nothing on. But, yeah. Back to you saying you got burnt, you're just finally seeing YouTube money. Uh, you didn't want to take it to the streets when you realized somebody burnt you? Nah, because I was getting money. I ain't so that kind of eased the pain a little bit, though, yeah, right? I was getting man. Hey, man, look here. When I figured out how many people took advantage, I'm like, damn, I was supposed to be richer? Like, nigga, I needed that money. Because like, I'm going to keep it all the way real. That's what the record labels do. I ain't going to put nobody out there per se, but. No, they definitely did. I was in Warner Brothers Asylum. They drug us. Oh, what one? They, what they'll do is they'll keep you on the road so much and keep you getting that show money that you forget all about that you got some some quarterly money coming through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Long as you getting that thirty tonight, forty tomorrow, forty the next <laughs> night. Shit. Now, how you think cash money? How you think baby end up owing all them niggas? You know what they owe them because they never seen no residuals. You snitching right now? You're a rat. That I'm was a rat move. Dog, that's, that's official snitching. That's move. a known fact. You know that. No, you snitching on somebody. About. A rat. Hey, Walker, man. Let me ask you a question. Coming into the game, right? Knowing what you know now, being that you know, as far as you saying, you know, you lost money and all. If it was one thing that you could have changed, knowing what you know now, what would it have been? Um, I would have just hired an admin, my own admin. I would have explain to him what an admin is. Though. An admin is a person that makes sure your music is properly registered so you can correctly get paid on time. Mm, just gave him some game. That's all. I'll just put an admin and on And where do you find an admin at for people that don't know? Uh, That's like that's like me just, a nigga in the hood. Like, yo, where I find a brick at? If you don't know where to find one, you shouldn't be doing it. Oh, shit. That's I'm just saying. like, you gotta Administrative. Be, you got to be qualified for that. Uh, You just got to know, like, the right. If you're talking to anybody in the industry, you should ask them. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people be having ties to industry people but don't ask the right questions. Right. That'd be the thing. People like, yo, bro, put me on. Let me... Our life moves so fast We ain't got time To babysit and pamper nobody Right Cause it ain't about What you know It's about who you who know yeah. And a lot of people Got access to people That know mm -hmm. But an admin Is definitely An admin Um, I say get assistance Managers is cool 
you, you need somebody that can manage your career, but they got to be connected. They just can't be like your best friend. Like, if it's your best friend managing you, he should be under the guy that's somebody and not in his way. Right. And a rapper should never be like, yo, go through my man. And it shouldn't be that. Your you, man you, should be watching the man. Right. When you came in the game, you had your mom as a manager, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So how how did that benefit you? And how how did it, if it did have any type of hurt towards your career, How like what's the what was the benefits and, and the non-benefits of having your mom as a manager? Of course, your mother going to always want your best interest first, right? Yeah, definitely. The benefit with that is, I'm going to keep it guessing, like she just, she Deborah. Yeah. Like she, she know what's going on. Right. And if she don't, and if you take advantage of her, she pulling up. Right, like a real nigga. She ain't playing, bro. She pulling up. Right, I, I seen the pull up, like pull pull people in the office, but they coming back out. It's like, hey, uh, thanks for being you, Deborah. Right. Before it was attitudes, like, hey, in my office. I'm like, man, they let a woman do that. Right. But the effects of it was, I was her son, so she was treating me like her son, mm -hmm. and she didn't treat me like an artist. A artist. So I had to be an artist on my own. Right. You know what I'm saying? My only thing my mother came in handy for was the ending. The paperwork. Right. Now, you wouldn't go catch me right there, but I really was doing stuff on my own. Yeah. Like, I was freestyling. I, w I didn't listen. I was getting so much show money. Right. I'm getting psh, anywhere from 25 to 50 a show. Guaranteed. Walkthroughs are dug. Right. Features, I'm getting 10 to 20,000. Right. And I'm doing all three of them every night. How important is it for these artists to listen? You know, they get their first check. They be cool with their manager, cool with their team. They get their first check. They don't fucking listen. How important is it for these young for When you coming in the game to listen to your team and, and not listen lose while you sight. You know, not lose sight of the ultimate I, goal. You know what it is, though? To be honest, money don't do nothing but enhance the person you are. Absolutely. So a lot of people, if they never listen, they never listened before. They just was listening because they had to. Absolutely. Some niggas they get money, they listening, bro. They be right. like, yo, bro, I remember you said, right. so let's do this. Some people just, they never wanted to listen. Right. You, you, you as a person like me, I got to twist it. I used to try to feed niggas game. They ain't care. They were just talking mm -hmm. and fucking with me till they could jump on the trampoline. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, because at the end of the day, when a motherfucker at the bottom, they can't really show you their true feelings. Hell no. Nah. Especially if they need you. Mm -hmm. They need, especially if you're looking out for them in any type of way. They can't show you their true feelings. But as soon as they get some money, and now they in a they in a they in a spot in life where they can say, "Oh, I'm cool now." You ain't never. Got Fuck you. Mm -hmm. That's when a lot of times that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times artists, they get this money, and then they forget about the uh, the first person that believed in you. And a lot of times it'd be a nigga from the hood. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it'd be a nigga from the hood who either he, he, he got some work in, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He believe in you. Mm -hmm. He put some money behind you. Mm -hmm. and, and then it's like, he look up, once you get some money, he look up like, who's this nigga? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know this nigga. This nigga was the most respectful artist, always on time, so polite. That nigga, but he don't need to pick up the phone, boy. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you something, too. It's a flip side to that, too. Because you got some CEOs sometimes, if they if they rappers, and then a little nigga that they put on come up and start getting what's looking like, oh, this nigga could be bigger than me. A little jealousy creeping in that way, too, though, from that side. Yeah, for real. I'm telling you, man. So it's a flip side to 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 both things. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't no CEO though. Yeah, calling me a CEO is disrespectful. Tell me oh, why, why, why you say that? that? I can't even lie, man. I'm a chairman. Chairman, okay. I'm gonna tell the CEO how to run that company. Well, okay. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Pres I can't. To me, like street niggas that come up with their own label, they shouldn't be CEOs. Because a CEO got to know exactly what to do. To run that shit. Yes. Accounting and everything. Absolutely. We don't know how to do that. We know right. how to run the show. Right. But do we know how to run the inside of the do show? Do you know how to put the people you know in I mean? the proper yeah. places? You got to be qualified for to that. To flourish. Mm -hmm. You ain't qualified for that, bro. You right, just but, jumped in there. Like. Because at the end of the day, Jay-Z got Rock Nation. Yeah, Jay-Z ain't getting no money until he was 33. But he ain't running that shit. Hell, he's the chairman. Right. He got everybody in place. To come to him and yeah. say, no, 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 we should do it like this, and this is why we should do it. What you think? Okay, okay, As cool. As he should, because he's gonna... a genius. Absolutely. But but he, he capitalized off of, of that. So that goes back to us as as, as adults now. We got to teach our kids how to be chairmen. Because our culture, we're good chairmen. We're bad CEOs. You know what I'm saying? So we always was the chairman, but we end up looking like the CEO. 
Mm-hmm. So for us, everybody that you're starting to see that become chairman in our culture, they prosper. Everybody that's want to stay a CEO, they not. They're losing. Okay. Because good CEOs, you got to keep switching. Apple keeps switching their CEO. All right. Like, you keep seeing all these big companies switch their CEO. All right. But did the chairman go anywhere? Did the board go somewhere? The investors, the inventor? Okay, that's a hell of a investors, way to think. Investors, inventors, chairman, CEO. That, that's a hell of a way. That's some game. That's some game right that's there. That's the corporate way of thinking. Absolutely. And you signed it up. That's showing you came a long motherfucker away from Go hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Yeah, but but, but even in hard in well, paint, we, we, even we hard in the paint on some gang shit, it's still reaction. No, no but, but I'm talking about you, the way that you think now. You know what oh, I mean? Because yeah. when you was going hard in the motherfucking paint, you wasn't thinking about want, being I no wanted chairman. To be I wanted to be me. You what was thinking about right? <laughs> what college you play for? Oh, BYU. You, I'm talking about you. BYU. Was you really going hard in the paint? Yeah, backyard university. Okay, sure. I'm in the yard with this shit. I was in the streets. Because yeah, I thought you was talking about because I would have checked you up. That, you know, I went to Penn State. Because you said hard in the paint. I'm like, man, he played ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm with all that shit. No, he yeah, He went to the state fucking Penn. He ain't going to the fucking Penn. I'm with the Penn State, nigga. Ass, nigga. Fuck, I'm doing 52 yeah. and all that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this question, right? You and Gucci, y'all good now? Nah, we great. Y'all great? But not as, like, socially. I don't, we, we, man, you know what it is, bro. We just... You know what it is? It's like God bless the dead with Kobe, right? right? Love Kobe to death. It's like Shaq and Kobe. Are they friends? But right. Are they the teammate friends? Right. Nah. Right. No. Because I'm I honestly, man, if y'all niggas just did one, one song? project, one song, that shit would be big for the culture, man. Man, that'd be dope as fuck. You know what I mean? It, it, you know what it is, man. You you can't stop cars playing. I know what my plans, absolutely my plans right now. I am not thinking about no goddamn Walker. You know Gucci, so I'm thinking about Tammy album, yeah. LA Foes album, okay, but, album. But you know, I'm speaking as a fan. Not you know what I mean? Because 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 at the end of the day, I, when y'all niggas came in the game, I was a fan of y'all. I niggas. got I got a record for him. Though. You feel what I'm saying? I got a record for him. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, you got a record for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean, so, so I, I just know that that the type of excitement. That's a possibility. You, you know, know what I mean? That that because motherfuckers would be like, yo. Uh, why can Gucci got a joint together? Oh, niggas is going to check that out because there's like it's been yeah. so motherfucking long. You feel what I'm saying? Since some shit like that has happened, yeah, we're the last of the dying breed. Absolutely, man. But speaking of speaking of Tammy, man, you got a, you got a lovely family, man. I commend you. I see you doing your thing. Yeah, we seen you with the fam, boy. Yeah, man. Baltimore. You know, we, we 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 family, man. Man, we've been with our with our women for a long time. We done, you know. I ain't gonna lie. I I slipped up and bumped my my head one time. You. Know, of course, y'all seen your shit. In of the, course, it, shit. You ever cried? Cry? Hell yeah, back. boo boo. Ah, ah, damn, I'm sorry. I'm about to get terrible. I'm about to I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> Yo, you did that joke. I want my family. I want my family. <laughs> hey, he did hey, about to kill myself. Hey, hey, yeah, that's the joint. That's the serious joint. That's the joint. You seen that's that joke before? No, no, no. You, no, 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 you I, don't see this knife? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know what the joint I see? <laughs> this was probably about. 18 years ago we was, about, we was about Three years into our relationship Some shit like that And You know I'm young man I'm young We on tour We I'm stupid I got a two way pager She got the same two way pages Under her plan We just Oh my god <laughs> Oh my god I did you some, do dumb, some shit. dumb shit I got home she was leaving. I said, I need counseling. Ah. <laughs> you said that ass nigga. I need counseling. I want my family. For real, she gets serious. You got to take it all the way there. Tell me why. <laughs> but your woman get it. Yo, yo, I'm telling you, Tammy, we used to be nice before that. After that, nigga, she got crazy. Like, yo, it's a different kind of, like, anger come with a woman. What? Nigga, you better fucking play. Like, the what? They get, they Damn, get real. They get, they what? Nut up. They like get he, crazy he on you. Hit me in the jaw. I'm like, man, I will fuck you. <laughs> Yo, you really just hit me. Like, man, but but when they get to going on you and you just can't do nothing, you just gotta stand there and take my fucking you know, you're looking But how many years? <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh, my family. <laughs> They got that look like, what are you talking about? <laughs> nah, yeah, you, yeah, you say some shit like, don't even nobody know, but what if they find out? Look, <laughs> you like, hey, everybody know. <laughs> For real. But, man, that's that's just a part of being young and dumb, man. And not really, I mean, appreciating what you got. Yeah. But... Just not really. Re- and then let's be for real. It's a line that 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 Kanye West said. It's hard being faithful in a room full of hoes. Man, 
Especially if you ain't never been in there, bro. Bro, I'm telling you. Oh. I don't know no one. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What's hey, your bro. first time in the room? You're but, stripping out. Well, I'm you're stripping about, out. Boy. Hey, boy, you getting there? You talking some shit. <coughs> buddy, oh, man, I'm chilling. Man, you get the walking by. You be like, God damn. Like, oh, pray, Lord, please. <laughs> but you think you be praying, boy. And then them hoes be so friendly. Hey. And Friendly, man. They they not playing. They not playing. They, they thirsty. Not. Man, I talk. Hey, them bitches need a sprite. Them bitches be thirsty. Right now, them girls be talking. Yeah, you, you, y'all do plus one. I'm like, hey, yeah. What the oh, fuck? nigga, they come on my live. You talking about the unicorns? The unicorns. You familiar with the unicorns? Hell no, what it is. That sounds crazy. A unicorn is a is a woman that like to be a part of a relationship, man and woman relationship. Like they 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 into that. That's their thing. They like to date you and your girl. What the fuck? So Hell. the bitch called the unicorn. Oh, no, that's some new age shit, man. I'm sure you, I can't even lie, bro. I, I, I'm selfish, man. Can't no girl be eating my wife out, man. This shit ain't happening, man. Hey, that is... I'm sorry, bro. It, it sounds good. Like, like man, yo, it sounds good. Two bitches eating. Two. Nigga, logically, if you wake up your wife moaning, nigga, you like, yo, bitch, get, get up, man. Right. Get out. A little freaky Then does she like it too much? She start acting like you ain't even in the room and shit. You really mad. I'm blessed. I don't got that kind of woman that want to have sex all the time. I'm blessed. Because having two, uh, like, I had to think about it. Like, I was in the car with my man the other day. I'm like, yo, thinking about it, like, man, my wife, like, spit all on my shit every night. I look at her crazy, like, man, you kind of a hoe. Like, it reminds me of a hoe. Oh, no, my, not mine. Yeah. Shit, spit on that motherfucker. Not, Get no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But now, but now, but the, another side of you be like, nah, you gotta do that shit. Yeah. Hey, if I'm in there cooking noodles, man, you just need to just get Because right at the it. end of the day, I look at life like this. Every guy want a woman in public in the absolute. But I tell you, listen, a unicorn, a common swinging term used in the community to refer to a single female interested in meeting other couples. Described as such to do. Yeah, yeah, fine. That, that bitch the bitch the third wrestling partner, man. Yeah, she trying to get in. This is a tag team joint. She wanna get tagged in, yep. man. I'm after that paper right now. I ain't thinking right. about no goddamn. That's right, bro. Fuck them. Fuck the unicorns. I, I could do unicorns in my forties and fifties. Yeah. Let my daughter get unigrown, goddamn. <laughs> I like you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't need my daughter here. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Let my daughter get unigrown. Oh, God, unigrown. Oh, this motherfucker. Grow up, man. This uh, next segment is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Hey, listen, man. ExpressVPN protects your privacy and security online. But what I didn't know up until recently is that it's taken my TV watching experience to the next level. You can also use VPN to unlock movies and shows that are available in other countries. So ExpressVPN is where... You can get Netflix in Japan, Australia, uh, Bogota. Do, do you think they got oh, Netflix in Bogota? You can change your IP address. Hey, yeah, you mm -hmm. can change That's your so. IP address. So ExpressVPN really is it. Really is the shit, man. And uh, it's something that my wife is really into because you know she Korean, she have Korean and black, and she watches the uh, you know the, the Korean dramas all the time. So she's really into ExpressVPN. To watch, and you can watch the shows ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag. And you can also stream in HD with no problems. ExpressVPN is also compatible to any device, your iPhone, media console, smart TVs, and more, so that you can watch what you want on the go on the big screen wherever you are. Make, if, you, if you listen, if you want to get with ExpressVPN, make sure you go to ExpressVPN dot com slash million you hear me expressvpn dot com slash million you can get an extra three months of expressvpn for free support the show and watch what you want to protect yourself at expressvpn dot com slash million hold up this next segment is brought to you by ShipStation. Listen, man, ShipStation, listen, this is what you do. When you're selling online, getting your orders, listen, could be listen, it could be real, real pain. But how do you keep track of who gets what? With shipping carriers, should you use? Are you the, are is the best rates? Listen, ShipStation is everything, right? It's the fastest, easiest, most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Mm -hmm. Just a few clicks, and you'll be able to manage your orders, putting labels out, put printing labels, getting your products out fast, and keep your customers happy. ShipStation make it easy. Listen, listen, I'm telling you, the experience with ShipStation is just is just lovely, man. I'm talking about help you get. I'm talking about everything get out quicker. Everything is simpler. I'm talking about what you need to do is. With ShipStation, in order to get with them, I'm talking about they're going to hook you up. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about bring, it bring all your orders into one simple, 
interface. I'm talking about one simple interface. I don't care what you're using. I don't care if you're on Amazon, SD, your own website, whatever you got going on, and bring everything into life. I'm talking about go listen, ship station, right? All our listeners, million dollars worth of game listeners, they're going to get free 60 days where you can use the code game. Listen, shipstation.com, man. Make sure you use the code game, man. They're going to hook you up, man. And it's just like that. Right. Yeah. In your mouth. So what's your plans for the future though? You dropping an album? You got some shit coming out? What yeah, you doing? I, I definitely uh, gonna start my 10th anniversary of the month of my birthday in May. Start dropping music. Uh, I've been working on our family. Kanye is pink. Kanye, mm. it's shit crushing all that. Kanye. Yeah, yeah, he's real pink, like candy. Imagine Kanye tasting like candy. Oh, that's t- no that, mix. Uh, you gonna have a? There's gonna be a lot of motherfucking. Uh, Drinking and driving joints of goddamn cognac tastes like candy. Cause, Definitely, man. Because I know the only thing that slew me up off that shit is that. Mm. Mm. Oh, ain't, ain't none of that. Yeah, that shit's strong. <laughs> that shit's H- strong. Henny be killing me now. What? That shit tastes like throat. You drink Henny, you strip what? out. The fuck out of here. You stripped out down Miami on the, the beach in the middle of the night. I, ain't I had to come find you, man. Like a <laughs> Police tackled your dumb ass out there. You was ass naked. Come on, man. Hey. Yeah, two shots of Henny, you got raw, nigga. Get out Yo, of how here. long y'all been friends, man? No, That's my cousin. <laughs> Y'all cousin? Yeah, that's my little cousin. I'm his big cousin in real life. No, he, he my little cousin. He went to jail when he was 17. He did 20 years. That's yeah. that's ill, though. You don't have kids these days, like, respect their cousin how y'all respect each other. No, because I slap the shit out of him. I don't respect that. He's a nut-ass nigga. You know, I mean? you know what I'm saying? That's unity, man. Like, yeah, but, these young niggas ain't got it. I, well, I, I heard a little girl. T- oh, you was a crazy young nigga, too, though. Bro, I never disrespect my You ain't had to disrespect it. But I'm talking about you was... No, you, was, you know what it was? <clears throat> People say I was wild. Nigga, no, we just didn't tolerate disrespect. You couldn't, we wasn't the kind of niggas you could pluck. You pluck, we shooting at you. Right. That's how I got to go, because we just from Young that, boys doing the same thing, though. They ain't plucking, they niggas just shooting. Yeah, they just shooting. These niggas graffiti artists, man. Yeah, they just shooting. They just butt, bro. Think about he it. He ain't lying, because look how many girls getting gun. shot in Philly, man. How many kids getting shot yeah. in Philly, man? Yeah, look at right. them guns. Nigga, we ain't have Glocks growing up. Glocks? They got a rusty revolver. 22, man. In middle school with a Draco. Yeah, he, that, you, that's you what you first got pistol with. with. Uh, the, the fuck out of here. The rusty <laughs> joint. Like, no, boy, pistol with you. He had the rusty joint. Fuck out that's what you got introduced <laughs> to the gun game. The, upside your head. Hey. I'm sending y'all some gear, too, man. Believe that. I got, I got, I got a, a clothing line called Dro. Called Dro? Yeah, Dro Life on Instagram. We uh, got a big deal coming up with one of these uh, distributors, man. I can't wait to announce the name, but. Believe that, man. Send that shit to me, man. You already know, man. We support everything that you got going on. Because one thing I respect about you, why you always been the same nigga, man. Mm-hmm. There you go. I you, want you money, grew man. up because that's what part that what life do to you. It grew you up, but you always been the same nigga, man. Facts. You know what I mean? And let me ask you a question about reality TV. How do, what effects you think it had on you? Your career or your life, or you feel did you did you think it had a positive effect? What was the positive? What was the negative? Uh, I ain't think about negative. Uh, people fell into the trap that I wanted them to fall in. Yeah, I want to think I fell off and I need my wife to bounce back so they may help famous, may help make money. Absolutely. So to the point where now I got another income coming in the house. Absolutely. Best shit in the world. Actually, every nigga like man, that nigga fell off by Tammy. If it wasn't for Tammy, he wouldn't be up. I'm like, man, me, Tammy man, is you. Tammy though. read that. Yo, Tammy's like, but we look at each other like. Damn, this shit work in real life, right? Like the fact that, cause I, I knew for a fact if you if you if you a rapper, you get on reality TV, bro. I mean, you come on. Yeah. Before I got love of hip hop, that shit was not cool for a rapper to get on TV, right? Uh-uh. Before I got like Marriage Boot Camp, you never seen rappers on Marriage Boot Camp, right? It was not cool, right? Like we made that shit cool, like, right? Because at the end of the day, y'all cool. never y'all didn't get on there and not be yourself. No, watch the nut. What up? Mm. We don't we don't we don't support that. Mm. The balls. She checked she, 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 she checked you. She checked you. She checked you. She checked you. You seen it? I seen See, it. Tammy, you just fell right into it. Thank check you. the shit out. I'm on the podcast. I'm gonna call you back. Mm. Y'all rich, rich, bye. God, damn. Get Mickey Mouse, bye. <laughs> Damn, that's just on a random day. I was yeah. about to get it a two thousand dollar. I'm gonna get it. He said, "Get eleven hundred dollars, please, baby. Please." Nah, the Mickey Mouse was the two thousand. Hey, like me. Well, been running around here. Every time I look up, this nigga got a show. This nigga perform everywhere. Yeah, yeah some niggas like, "Yo, walking." I'm like, "My nigga, I've been doing one hundred fifty shows for the last ten years. One year for like five, six years straight, I was doing almost four hundred shows a year. 
Damn. Nigga, like, why are you doing on shows? Nigga, why not? What why the fuck not? are you talking about? I've been seeing these country rock stars. These niggas is performing at 60. Right. They not stopping. Hip hop, they want us to stop at 30. Right. They want us to stop. Like, nigga, I'm not stopping. I'm no. coming out right now. I'm not stopping. You ain't supposed to stop because at the end of the day, playing. you got millions and millions of people who grew up off your music and they always want to come see you perform. Fuck America, man. Yeah. Listen. You know I mean? for, hey, man. And that overseas. Country. Eating it up. Crazy, huh? That overseas money. Man, you seen Onyx tour, tour schedule? Man, those folks on tour from fucking March all the way to June. Onyx. Onyx. Oh, yeah, they ain't playing. Yin Yang Twins still getting 50 balls, 75s, 80s. What? Man, cut it out. Yes, I know for a fact. Yes, and, and and at the end of the day, oh. at the end of the day, they should be. Yeah, they, man. They they, they made us. They put they staple. They put they stamp down, and they was a staple in music at a time where, it, let's be for real. I think niggas might be handicapped or something like. Not a kid. Hey, hey, get niggas I, wasn't even acceptive to that shit, but they music was slamming yeah. so hard that niggas was like, nigga, we don't give a fuck what man, going on. Man, Gilly, look how long it took Philly. Look how many rappers from you to Beans to this to this to get a Meek Mill. Yeah. You know how many errors it took to get a Meek Mill? Yeah. You know how many errors it took in Memphis to get a Yo Gotti's and yeah. Money Bag Yo? Like, it took years. years. Yeah. You know how many years it took for be a Houston rapper? Like, yeah. people be thinking this shit happened overnight. Like, Chicago but, had rappers. Right. It just took them years. It took them years. They had, bu- they had bumpy. They had bump. They had they had a gang of niggas. Do man. or die. Do or die. Twister. Yeah, Twister. Man. And I'm going to keep Shana. it all the way real. Twister was somebody. Shout out to Shauna too. That's my sister for life. Twister was somebody who he had been out. Was ben Crucial did Conflict from there? Crucial Conflict. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ben okay. did his thing. And motherfuckers thought it was over for him. Came right back. And then he got with Kanye. Came right back. It was and he Money. went on another run. He, he's he, he's a timeless guy. He timeless because nobody could rap as fast as him. No, and I went on and I Except went on tour with him. Know, named I, Jimmy the me and him went on tour two years ago. And he a good dude, man. He an all around good dude, man. So shout out to Twister, man. Yeah, he'll go. I know shout out. All all around good dude, man. So so you got some more T V shit coming up? Definitely, man. Um I'm I definitely uh trying out for a couple of shows. But I, I gotta take it serious though. I ain't gonna lie, man. I be feeling like they be sending me, they be sending niggas scripts I know I could do. Right. Like nigga, you sending me a, I could not play the gangster. Song. Like, yeah, come on, I could. The I fuck y'all like, niggas do? Like, uh, that's not even that's acting. Easy. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple of uh, TV shows I pitch as well. Yeah. Um, I got a board game I'm coming out with. It's a 21 and up board game. I think niggas never made board games. No. Right? Yeah. Derek Grace did. Huh? You down with Derek Grace down in, down in, uh, That's my dog. With Derek. Di- He's a yo. He got. He's listen, man. Black Bank. He's a legend, man. That's my dog. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. It, like, when when you look at the transition you made, coming from where you came from, and now you sitting here as a grown ass man with a family, with kids, with grown ass responsibilities, and you saying shit like, "Hey, man, I got my own board game coming out." And I, I got my own liquor company coming out. And my, my, my wife got an album coming out. Which she probably didn't ever even think about putting the album out when you was young. I don't know. Was she into yeah. singing yeah, like that? Yeah, she was singing. Uh, she surprised me, shit. I heard her singing in the show. I'm like, the fuck? But what I'm saying is when you was young, when y'all first oh, no, got no, together, never, she no. wasn't thinking. She, she would have never thought she had an album out, God, right? She never even bought it up. That's what I'm saying. Never. So now to see you at a, at a grown man. And coming from all, coming from the place you came from, and now you doing all of this shit. Do do sometimes do you just sit back and you know you might be smoking one and you just Dropping like some real nigga tears. Like this shit is unbelievable. Hell yeah, the hell yeah. That's what people keep saying. Put music. I'm like, what am I going to talk about? What am I? It's nothing to talk about. I'm only 33 years old, dog, and I did almost 50 CDs. What the fuck else can I talk about? Right. God damn Like man. I gotta chill Right Like people don't understand That shit like I could sit here And fight for credit all day Right I could do that girl. I could get fresh And hang in the hoods And sign these acts And stand next to Jay And stand next to Diddy I got enough credibility To, to do, do that To do that Absolutely I could stand right next to Ross And be Ross Right I could stand next to Gucci And be Walker I'm still gonna be Walker for right. Next to all of them Right But do I wanna do that now I, 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 I'm still a fan of these people Right I don't want to hang with them. Right. I, I want to watch <coughs> what they do. I like watching Nas, seeing how Nas bounce back off off a of BC firm. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, bro, that that's fire. Killed it, didn't like, he? Man, what you don't know when you're supposed to be rich. It just happened. 
Right. You think you got rich and got money? Like what I did, what I made, it wasn't mine because I couldn't keep it. Right. It wasn't profit. Right. After I made it all, it taxes came. Right. This came. That that I want to have that liquid. Right. I want to be able to blow thirty million dollars and fifty million. Until then, I ain't. I'm broke. Right. I got a mind of a broke nigga, swag of a rich nigga. And that's, 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 that's a hell of shit. a mentality to have, man. That's my whole shit. You know what I mean? Because when you got that mentality, guess what you never lose? Your hustle. Never. Yo, yo, let me, let me tell y'all too, right? Everybody always say this, yo. Let's make money, but who's going to be the person in the room be like, yo, what happens when we make that million? Who's the person that you go to be like, yo, how do I protect this million? Mm-hmm. How do I never lose this million dollars? Because mm-hmm. technically when you make a million dollars, you should never lose it. Again, right. Right. Knowing, knowing what I learned, right, whew, man, I'm to my, I, I would have borrowed for myself, right, but they don't teach you that, and right. that's and that's the hardest part about life is learning how to make your money cycle, cycle, not stack, right. Stacking money is dead money. Yeah, it ain't. It's nothing. Now, right. s- money that cycle, uh huh, you rich forever. Absolutely, and that's the key. And Absolutely, because I, I got friends who just, honestly, they just live off the money that they that uh, off the interest that they money make them marry. Man, bet on Home Depot stock. I'm telling my boy a couple of years ago, say, hey, Walker, man, put 100000 or 300000 or a million dollars into Home Depot. If I'd have did that in 2010 when Flock of Billy came out, if I'd have put a million dollars in it, it grew to $10 million today. Damn. I'm like, nigga, he said stock a list. Like, man, if you don't get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. Right, baby. because at the end of the day, you didn't you didn't go, understand hey, it. Hey, go get 1,000 pounds, man. Right. Fuck out of here, man. Right. They use this money to go get 1,000 pounds. Right. We're going to take your head off. Right. All that coming to me with stocks, I never forget. It. I was going to get a thousand pounds. The man told me, "Man, you could buy stocks with this." I'm like, "Stocks, man, you don't get the fuck out my right. face, man. Hey, we gonna beat your ass, man." Right. Because we was dumb. Yeah. The fact that I want to rap in still, but that's all niggas knew though. That's man. all niggas knew. It was straight cash, like right. And, and sometimes, sometimes niggas could only resort to what they know, and to somebody come around and and kind of. Plant a different way of thinking in them. See, see, one one person that I always credit Tony Draper, man. He planted a different way of thinking in me. Mm-hmm. When I got down to Suave House and he was like, "What you want?" I'm like, "Listen, man, I want I want five hundred thousand. I want I want a hundred up front. I want uh uh you know this shack and shit." <laughs> What's up, OJ? I've been to you for, one week. for what? Why? What, up, man? what happened? What I do? Uh, I'm gonna call y'all. I'm gonna call y'all. I'm gonna call y'all when y'all get out the airway. Uh, 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 <laughs> man, niggas get G-checked by the airway. Damn, Shaq, I ain't do shit. We get this to flip everybody. It was you, it wasn't me. This Shaquille O'Neal, man. This it was you. I had shit to do with it. He calls us up and G-checks us. Hey, <laughs> hey, Shaq a big nigga, bro. Man, Shaq is big, big. Right? He, he, he'll hop out that pickup truck. You'll be like, hey, all right, bitch, dog. I got it. <laughs> I'm going to call you soon as we done, big dog. I love you too, man. He said he love you, why? Always, man. You ain't show nothing but love. Yeah. All right. He yeah. ain't show nothing but love. So, yeah, That's man. Good Shaq nigga. a good dude, man. They pulled up to my show, like, random. Yeah. Hopped out. I'm like, God damn, that nigga big. Like, he right. probably in a truck that looked like the Titanic or some yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm a motherfucker big as Buckhead, man. Damn. <laughs> nigga, yeah, with a Pastor Troy back in the day. Yeah. Troy, yeah. Yeah. He hopping out of like... <laughs> Hey, Troy. Hey, let, other than yourself, let me ask you this: Who would you say is the top five most influential artists in Atlanta's history? Top five? Yes. That's easy. Bone Crusher. Mm, that's see that I wasn't. I wouldn't expect. I would have never crusher. said Bone Crusher. I, I, I would have never I expected think he was Bone Crusher. Say him. Right. Bone came out fucking shit up though. Did His he? name, by the way, his name is Big Wayne. Big Wayne, not that Bone Crusher shit. Oh, okay. Well, we I know him as Bone Crusher. Real nigga. Real nigga. Real nigga. Big Wayne. Big oh, Wayne. Yeah. Shout out to Big Wizzle. Uh, Wiziano. Outcast. Absolutely. Mm, definitely Lil John. Lil John. Yeah. Uh, I think I I put uh, T I G Z and Gucci as one person. Why you say that? Because they all made a cause for trap music. They did. I, I understand They gave me three it. different perspectives for mm-hmm. trap music. Um, they definitely did. One more. One more. Uh, no Jermaine Dupri. No 
No. Uh, and last year, you, you. But for me in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, you're right. for me yeah, in my yeah, yeah, lifetime, yeah, you're right. I ain't. That's he was the OG. He was already sanctioned. Like, yeah, he definitely he was. JD, like cut yeah. it out. Like, he definitely music was. Music wise, he was the producer. Like the yeah, producer. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Last but not least, I say. Uh, damn. Probably Usher. Mm -hmm. Usher, uh, Usher definitely gave us like a a different perspective on R and B wise. Yeah. He put a lot of hope in like people from the south. Right. Doing R and B. Cause his album was the shit when he came yeah. out with that. But five ain't it, man. Cause you got Drake, you got I said Drake. I mean, you got Future, you got Thug, you got shit. I my shit. Uh, you got Bankroll Fresh. You See, got, Future, somebody you too. Got who, Troy, you got Pastor Troy. You got Sammy Sam. You got Future. Camp. Excuse me, bro. Oom Camp. Mm -hmm. How did I forget Oom Camp? How did I forget Oom Camp? Instead of Usher's Oom Camp. How the fuck did I forget Oom Camp? Yo, that's crazy how many <laughs> fucking artists come out of Atlanta, Oom man. Oom Camp, bro, had the whole sound of Atlanta. Yeah. Mm. Oom Camp. Like, that whole Oom Camp and Bone. See, Bone Crusher is Bone Crusher, Killer Mike, T.I., Lil John and them, and, like, the Dungeon Family kind of stuff. Like, right. Our Wu Tang is Dungeon Family. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, man, Atlanta got too much. Rico Way. Come on, that's Dungeon Family, dog. He was in like, Gat. Goody Mob. Don't forget Gip, Gip mm -hmm. and them. CeeLo Green and them. That's just sick, yo. People got history. Like, and it take artists, like, for me, I should I should be kind of the guy, like, reminding them. Because when I came to Atlanta, it was just. Cool Breeze. Oh, man. Let me ask you a Watch question. Is, a, is, is, is Atlanta right now. Undefeated. The number one music spot in hip hop definitely of all time like has it, it has Atlanta just taken over New York oh Ben okay I'm just Atlanta Ben took because over because you gotta remember out. though you gotta remember New York got a lot of history we can't always go with what's happening now we nah, gotta nah, remember nah, 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 nah. the the Big Daddy Kings the nah, nah, Cool nah, nah, nah. G it, Raps it the, right graduated. I'm talking man Atlanta had music since 2009 since I came up we had music I might want to say it might have even been before that. I'm talking about it started like. It might have been damn, 2006. Like God damn. Right, that shit might have started around long 2006. I forgot, I forgot how long it was. God damn. And I'm going to keep it all the way real. It might have no, been no, before that. It might have been, y'all been owning it since maybe 2004, 2005, but. The millennium was Atlanta. Yes. I got to be real. The, Atlanta had the whole millennium. It did. It changed it. Whew. It did the because, millennium has changed. because just think of when you think of all the artists that came out of it, all the people producers. you said and producers and and that shit's unbelievable, man. It is. Atlanta just don't get no respect. Why you say that? Shit. Because I feel like Atlanta get all of respect. Shit, everybody like, like, in the beginning we wasn't. I mean, no, in the beginning y'all wasn't. Only thing we missing in Atlanta right now that'll make like New York and like California go down is media. If we had these but, media buildings, yeah, but this is what I don't understand about Atlanta. How are y'all that big as far as music? Because we, we're the culture and generating money. We're and, the culture, and but it's, the media down there isn't you know as why? big as New York and Hollywood. Because uh, I'm this is I'm happy you said that because we are what is hip hop? Black, right? Mm -hmm. Where's all the black people? Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Who control media? Not black people. That's the point. Now, we control media, which is about to happen. Tyler Perry is now coming. It's it's funny because I seen a guy do a skit say, hey, you don't see people saying kill white people music, kill dogs, kill cats, blow up houses, kill kids. Mm -hmm. But you did hear music saying kill black, like kill each other. Mm -hmm. So they only market us harming each other. Absolutely. I don't. Because Ken they understand that uh, I was hip hop dead And you got Kendrick Lamar And J. Cole Running around And uh, what's the other Little kid name That they discredit And he Logic Logic is fire My boy Man Like let's take away The the, the, the face of the, of the guy Right Logic is a beast Right Like to me I feel like Logic Is like a descendant Of Kendrick Lamar It's crazy Kendrick Lamar Logic and J. Cole That's a full lineup Yeah it is It absolutely is that's a, that's a fool little line. Over there on Def Jam, Logic and Logic sell a shitload of merch. Man, Logic is fucked, bro. Yeah, and he sells a shitload of merch. Listen to Logic album, bro. 
Like it's it's crazy. Yeah, I, I got I got I got to check it out. I'm not even going front. Gilly. It's fire. I mean I know he hot, but I ain't checked his album out Man, yet. Man, he fire, bro. He I'm fire. Not front. He's fire. His words is crazy. Headphone music. Yeah. Logic is headphone music. Yeah. Put him in your headphones, not your car. That's what's up. I got to, you know what, shout out to Logic, man. I got to check Logic. You know, I'm already up on Kendrick and J. Cole. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm more of a J. Cole fan yeah. than, than, a, than a Kendrick. I mean, I, I respect Kendrick I and I, all res- I respect the art that he, he put out there. Yeah, well, but, uh, but, you know, I'm more, of a, I'm more of a J. Cole. I'll be liking I think J. Cole is like the king of making a dead fucking beat yeah, fire. come to life. I think I got like Denzel Curry. He's yeah. a beast. He's a fucking beast. That's like amazing. He's a fucking beast. Yo, a lot of these artists is fire. And then you got these artists that's melodic. Like, no, I swear to God, bro, because God it'd be my witness. I'm not trying to say this. But the guy that started like melodic rap is Ja Rule. Yeah. Let's be honest, bro. Absolutely. I just he, seen Ja Rule like last week. Uh huh. He started melodic. Where would I be without you? But then T Pain and put auto tune on the melodic. Mm-hmm. So now you got that. Ever merge together and you created what's today. Right. That's fire, though. It is fire. That's fire. And, and a lot of them get discredited for for cheating, kind of like, you know, not having no talent. Oh, uh, they got the auto tune on, but th- that's just the wave of the day, that's man. That's what's going on. And you, you got you to gotta be able to adapt to what's going on in today's society. And so. And when you're not able to adapt, that's when you consider the old nigga, man. Whoa. What? This is crazy, So Walker's looking in his phone. Yo, my best friend just texted me some shit, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I stopped drinking lean. One day I drunk, I was drinking mad lean. I'm in Memphis. I used to hang in Memphis heavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like heavy. And I, I was so linked out, my nigga. I took all my rings off and sat them on the sink and washed my hands. I forgot the rings was there. Somebody just texting like, bro, I did some real fuck shit when I was young, too. To Walker, I felt like things wouldn't move forward for me until I fixed what I did. And I took his rings he lost in Memphis back in the day. And I wanted to replace him not for clout because he was the reason I loved Jerry and blah, blah, blah. Damn. You know, all my Jerry always come back to me magically. That's crazy. The respect, bro. Well, like, shout out to that man for finally having a fucking damn. conscience on that petty ass shit he did. Damn. Your petty thief ass nigga. <laughs> Oh, petty thing. He got his rings on the sink. I know this nigga really. But <laughs> I gotta pay my rent. Hey, and you know what's so fucked up? He his life probably been fucked up ever since, since he took the rings. That nigga. Yeah, I gotta straighten this shit like, out. Why my life so fucked up? Yeah. I took Walker rings. I'm God's child, man. I know yeah. I am. I'm telling you right now. I know a lot of people that slick burnt me. And they they like winning right now, but they miserable. Mm-hmm. And they'll forever be miserable till they could till they fix what they did. Cause what I, I'm telling you, get I promise to God, bro. I know for a fact, God forbid, if I die walking out of here, I know I'm going to heaven. Right. I, I know every time I call anybody, it'd be out of love. And anytime I introduce introduce the situation uh, to the next person, look, oh, yeah, I kind of, all right. Next thing you know, they reach out to the people. Like, I don't know, man. Hey, let me ask you one one question for you, guys, because I know people love you and your wife relationship, and they, you know, they, they look at it and they, they, couple goals. If she could change one thing about you, what would it be? She could change one thing about me? Yes. Uh, I'd probably say she want me to stick to one thing. What you mean? If I, he'd be all over. I'd be everywhere. Uh, you everywhere like broken glass, huh? Bro, nah, nah, that's too much. <laughs> yo, I ain't go front, yo. I can't work at one. one I got to work with four or five things at one. Right. Cause I, yo, and it's I, crazy because you just said four things that you got going on. You got the, uh, make sure y'all be looking for this. You got the, the, the cognac coming out, right? Yeah. You got your clothing line coming pink out. Cognac, Dro. It's out. Oh, like, pink my cognac, cognac is out. I already got, I already got um, distribution. My uncle basically like, yo, walk. It's, it's time for you to take this to the next level. I God damn, you ain't send, you ain't got to send me a bottle or something, yeah, man. Yeah, my Dro stuff already out. I just said I need down. a hoodie. I need, I need some hats. I need whatever you got. <laughs> TV man. show already coming out. Only thing I got to put music. out is my music. Right. So and I got artists. Other than that, it's like yo, I mean, it took ten years. I wanted to learn this shit, bro. Like I was only twenty four, trying to be Jay Z. Right, I think it's comparing me to all these these older successful guys. Like, hey. I could be like, if I want a dick swing, I'd be like, hey, what's the rock beat the rock if Diddy never got on? Oh, let's do a remix. Oh. You know your history. Hey, I'm hey, I'm, I'm just you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, it's just like I could, I could, man, yo, bro, I know what I did right for people, man. I right, just, you know what I mean. Right, like, who cares? Like, I just want to win. On to the next, bro. I, yo, Gilly, man, I'm from the streets, man. 
It's I ain't trying to compare next. to nothing to the streets, but if this ain't moving, we moving this. Right. If this ain't moving, we selling TVs. Right. If TVs ain't working, hey, right. it's a hustle. If we sell cognac parents. ain't selling, I'm selling drill. Hey, Clothes, yeah. get it Not a, right clothes. now. The cognac will go win with I'm selling right. cheese. No, I'm just, I'm just hypothetically speaking nah, shit gonna and, work. and letting yeah. them know what you, what your mindset is. Because see, our whole platform really is to educate the youth, man. Financial literacy. Get your credit right. Clean your credit up. Mm. For me to y'all, clean your credit up. That mean everything. That mean everything. everything. Stop putting everything in your name. Create a business, an LLC. Put everything in your LLC. Mm. And, let, and open up a C Corp and if you don't know what it is, you need to figure these out. I'm telling you the names. Get a C Corp to run an LLC. If you want to make it even deeper, go get a trust fund to run a corp that runs the LLC. You want to get even deeper, own two um, trust funds for your business and your person to run that trust that runs all the business. It can get deep, my God. Like, Absolutely. And Donald Trump actually showed me that method. That's how he didn't pay tax. One a kind of that method, but yeah. That's weird, right? Yeah, that's, you that's vote for weird. Donald Trump? Who vote? Nah, why would I vote? A vote ain't a vote ain't nothing. No, shout out Walker. There you go. Hey, I vote, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to get knocked off. Oh. Yeah, trying. They want the people to come. Hey, hey, hey. folk got real guns, man. Hey, hey, don't get it fucked up. Walk up over if y'all. Yeah, he voting. Yeah, I'm voting, man. That nigga said, why would I? Man. Hold on, let me. I'm voting. Yeah, hello, hey. hello, Illuminati bug in my ear. Like, shut up. I'm uh, coming to get you. <laughs> you know what I'm not going to join y'all and I'm not going to talk about y'all. So let it be. Hey, Wallow and the Naughty, though. So. No comments. Yeah, they, 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 he got put in. He had to leave me out, but it's all good. I'm, I'm definitely about to drop some fuck you music, though. I ain't gonna stand in front yeah. and hold you back. Like I'm about to drop some fuck you music. So after having, like I'm you, so woke. Like when I put this record, I'm like, how are you so woke and you doing this? Right. Yeah. But do you ever get? Do you ever feel like uh, it's time to get back in and do the album? I mean, because you do got forty fucking albums out. Like yeah. you ever feel like? All right, it's time like to get I was back a in the like James Benjamin Flocker. This. Who the fuck would be now? Like Will Flocker Farrell? Like <laughs> laughing to the banks, volume one. Hey, hey. So, so you do get that kind of when you sign to go in, like let's go back to work. Yeah, because niggas want to rap with me and be like, "Fuck these niggas, so blah, woo!" Like they want to be so hard, right? Like nigga, no, right? No, right? Nigga, let's try to get this record played that live. But but you know what you know what it is too. Is perception is almost reality. I got a whole lot of money. That ain't hard. But, 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 but when boy, niggas like, see you, when niggas seen you as a young nigga, niggas was like, that nigga turn up. That nigga dangerous. Like I, I keep it he all the way real. I be right. trying to make that shit sound so. Yeah, you be trying to right. You be trying to make that shit sound like nigga come right on shirt off, looking just like he just shot a nigga yesterday. I go hard in the mud, sweating fat as hell. <laughs> Yo, I see why you two are like, yo, get the fuck. Why the white toy put his shirt on, man? No, Niggas had real stretch marks. Yeah, motherfuckers were scared of you. Hey, because but that's the, fire, though. Because at the lie. end of the day, that made you who you was. Huh? That made you who you man, was. I enjoyed that, man. I the love fact my that you didn't give a I love fuck. my big boy right here, man. The yeah. fact that you didn't give a fuck, you was a young nigga. You look dangerous. Niggas bought into that shit. Niggas like, them niggas dangerous. They loved it. And you know niggas love dangerous shit. Like, niggas love to, love to jump on some dangerous niggas bandwagon. Them niggas dangerous. I love that, them niggas. They, they got pay. One thing about me, right? I was wild and all that, though, right? But guess what I had? I had a lot of guys. I had full good security. I had a great travel agent. And I never put my name on nothing. And I never bragged and moved on where I was moving. So that's one thing I felt like I didn't do right to the younger generation. Uh, and I, I wish a lot of them, and I'm not trying to get this credit, y'all. I would never th reach out to me, bro. I'm going to show you how to move in real life. Like, bro, I'm, like, bro they need to learn how to move. Bro. Right. How important was security to you when you was a young artist? Every, everything. I come from gangbanging. Right. Security is everything with us. Right. It's a must. So hold on. So your security was real security. They wasn't no niggas from the hood that only he shot a couple niggas. Not, they, oh, no, I had a couple. They was around, too. No, uh, of course <laughs> they was around. But what I, I'm, I was one of them niggas. But what I'm saying is at first, was you security had at first. real security, right? Because, oh, definitely. But, because the, these young boys, for some reason, think that, oh, God done bless you to change your life, nigga. Now, now you got millions of dollars, but you still want to act like you got Hundreds of dollars. Yeah, like 
Oh, oh no, I don't, I don't need I no security. Real, Fuck could. security. I'm going to go perform at shoot 'em ups in Chirac tonight. Nah, you can't. You, you cannot be a street nigga thinking like that. It's impossible. It's no, yo. I don't know no street nigga that ever went to a club not prepared. And having a gun is not prepared. Let me, let me let y'all niggas know, man. Yo, I, I, I'm not bragging. I got to just say this as blunt as possible. I rob niggas with guns on them. More than three, four times. He got robbed with his gun on. The me. fuck out of here! I got. I, I got a pistol with you. Dogs, dogs. I got robbed with my gun on me. Yeah. I got shot with my gun in my armrest. Right. Like it can happen. You see what I'm saying? Like you got to know how to move, man. Absolutely. If you if you move invulnerable, niggas is trying. I'm telling y'all, bro. Go to, through Detroit in the no fly zone days. Go to man. Oh, hit the oh. dog. That Midwest what? was vicious. What California? Places you didn't even think was vicious. Yo, Milwaukee. The Bay. Oh, my God. Milwaukee was so. Nebraska. Nebraska. Virginia. Virginia. North Carolina. North Carolina. What? South Carolina. What? D.C. The Philly niggas. niggas. Niggas wouldn't even go to Philly. They were scared to go to club there. New <laughs> Orleans. Oh, we never been talking about New Orleans. It's, it's a whole new ball game. That's a whole Nigga, new fucking ball to- game down there. Yo, bro, it's uh, it's it's whew. right. So so let me tell y'all something. You got a veteran right here. To Fort, all the youth Fort out of Texas too. What? Texas. You got a veteran right here, who got a plethora of music out. Come from the same street y'all come from. Made it out, and he's telling y'all, no, 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 no. It's it's not only cool to to get security to protect your interests. It's mandatory, mandatory to get security to, to, to protect mandatory. your interests in Mando. what you got going on. Because to all the youngins, again, once again, you not a regular nigga no more. That, that's out the window. If you're doing street shit, you, you, your ass backwards. If you're a rapper doing street shit, why are you rapping? It's stupid. You're not rapping to... To make the streets better, like, nigga, I'm, what are you doing? You getting yeah. rap money and going get for dirty money to make more clean money, in your mind? Like hell, in my mind, I always say like, yo, what am I doing? Yo, it, I, yo, yo, so help me God, bro. I'm in a car, right? Mm-hmm. Nigga, I, niggas is following me. I'm like, oh shit! I call my brother like, yo, Quan, where you at? Where you at? Where you, yo, yo, niggas is following, me, bro. It's about to go down. Like I'm thinking this shit about to go down, so I ease the window now. I'm just ready to get busy. Nigga, pull like, play my music. I'm like. Nigga, what am I doing? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing, bro? All this weed in the car. Thinking niggas was chasing. I know what it was. I could throw the police. Who knew? And these niggas wanted to be fans. That day right there, I'm like, yo, I'm ass backwards. I'm bugging. Yeah, absolutely. I'm bugging. I'm keeping but I'm going to keep it all the way real. Fans take shit too far, too. When they when fans knew you a street nigga, you got niggas that see you in a club and walk up on you like this. And then get to you and be like, I love you, nigga. And it's like, nigga, why the fuck did you walk from over there to over here looking yeah, at me like that? Because I was raised set it off on you, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like I was raised, I was getting raised set it the fuck off on you. Like you, you, nigga, you got a, you got a better your approach, nigga. You walking up on a nigga like that. He wasn't set it off. You was scared to death. I ain't even time boy did it. Which I'm bopping the ass right up. I seen him do it. Fuck, I'm bopping your ass right up. Hey, hey, that, come on. That's how I had you. But then it get, but then a nigga get over to you and be like, nigga, I love you. I love your shit, dog. You a real, and you be like, nigga, you don't even know we was about to a jump. Nigga did that to me. All like, act over like he your like ass. Trying to pop my chain. Boy, we beat the fuck out of him. I'm telling you, bro. You got to beat him. Well, uh, like, I went to. You can't talk that gangster shit. And think somebody ain't gonna, ain't gonna test that gangster. Oh yeah, they they gonna test you. I, go, I be seeing people get their chains snatched. And they go, be broke ass niggas. Man, shut your cap ass up. You in the street, nigga. Get right. robbed. Come with the gang. Absolutely. Oh, that ain't no broke nigga shit. That's right. a job in the streets. Man. Absolutely. Cut it out. Absolutely. Out, man. Let's let's stop. That's some acting like chain snatching. It's a broke nigga shit. You work hard. For and it. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. You young niggas got it good. Oh, y'all got it good. That's why you don't. First of all. A lot of you young niggas, y'all got it good. See, when I went to the club, it was no Instagram. The street niggas was not oh coming to the fucking club to get no picture with no niggas. Nah, they were popping. They shit. coming to the club to take your fucking jewelry off your neck or to compete with you. Oh, I how many of them oh, niggas? Oh, oh, oh. How many bottles them niggas got? The fuck oh, them up. niggas got fifteen bottles. You listen, oh, okay, listen, listen. No, bring me wrong, twenty. Man. You fucking wrong. On bring, that. I know the fuck. I'm I not. went down there and got pictures with fucking Method Man in them. 
What the fuck are you talking about? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the when. The fuck is you talking when about? When I'm talking about when. when I was I, a street nigga. Uh, what? No, no, no. Fuck. I went under took pictures. Nobody was going niggas. to the club to get pictures, nigga. What the fuck? When you I, had a polo I got boy? Pi- Use a nut ass no, nigga. No, they had a polo. They Use had a, a nut ass nigga. You want? You want? You want? Bought a whole Polaroid camera. Fuck. Went to the no, club. they used to take pictures of this. Nothing, man. Gotta take a picture. You nut ass nigga. Right. But at the front of the hookup. But at the end of the day, that picture didn't mean as much as the picture means today because all you did was take that fucking picture home and it sat in your fucking bedroom and you looked at nothing red. Like you was in love with them niggas, oh, man. They my favorites. I love you, man. I ain't see all yes, that. Yes, you did, you nut ass nigga. So I'm what I'm saying up. is, hey, it's crazy what y'all that ass nigga. What y'all just said is, on <clears throat> one hand, he took the picture and it meant something to him. On the other hand, these niggas taking pictures and it means something to what the world thinks. Right. So guess what you did? You don't give a fuck how you think. You put your feelings in the hands of somebody else and what they think. Right. And that's what the youth is missing. Right. They're not missing personal experiences for themselves. Right. That's what we got. Absolutely. Overall. Absolutely. See, and because because to the youth, their validation is Who how many have? likes you get on Instagram. How many how many comments? How many niggas post your shit? How, all the shit that don't I, really I, matter I, in real life. I'm not going to front lately, bro. The rap has been copying the regular people, quote unquote. Like the street niggas is dressing better than rappers. Rappers is starting to hang with them like they the celebrities. Because you got to understand, too. <laughs> when, when, when we was younger, the street nigga was, was everything. Right. Like the rapper went in the club and was like, yo... Diggle such and such, yo, he, yeah. Now, you got street niggas who solely want to go to the club just to get that picture. They just want to post that picture up. They like this. They standing next to Ross with a lying-ass caption. Ross told me he not the only boss. I'm the biggest boss, too. Like, <laughs> bitch, Ross didn't say that. You right. just you just right. took a fucking yo, picture. I just, told, with- <laughs> yo, I just told Tammy that. And- okay, we about right. to wrap it up right now. I know. Okay, sorry. He don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You said that, right? I just took a picture with a guy. I'm always like in traffic with my man. He told me the music is crazy. I'm like, nigga. Oh, that was legend. I'm like, and he just got that a was legend. Stamp. That make me want to be like, yo, you know some fuck y'all niggas. Fuck the niggas trying to act like You people. lying, my nigga. You walked up on me and said, "Flock, can you take a picture?" I said, "Yeah, I, nigga." I, my right hand. And guess what I'm about to start doing? Going on his post. What are you talking? I don't even know you. But then I'll be petty for doing it. Yeah. But he's petty for 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 frauding. Yeah, he make your stamp uncertified. Right. Like, Damn, nigga, why but you, you got to understand, why everybody do that, bro. But like I told everybody, him the other day, I'm at, Jeezy. This is the old twist. Jeezy said. I told this dead ass nigga the other day, I'm at the John Ray get some fake jewelry. And he said, why? I said, hold up, <laughs> nigga, you ain't sending all these fucking rap niggas is wearing it. <laughs> Them niggas, them niggas be wearing a pound of fake, half a million dollars worth of fake jewelry. You want to hate me, hate on me? Say some of the some of them niggas. I ain't pointing nobody out because I ain't no rat. But I'm just saying, so you don't say nothing to them niggas. Like he said, these niggas doing the same shit that the regular niggas doing. But see, at the end of the day, I ain't got to hang with them niggas. Talking about rats, let me, let me leave y'all with this. Niggas let this rat nigga 6 9 take Onyx style and run with it. I want y'all to go back and listen to Onyx and then listen to 6 9 I think it's Fred Stahl. Yo, son, niggas be so exactly like him. But these young niggas is rebirthing old sound. Absolutely. And to me, ain't like like to me ain't nothing wrong with it because if you recognize something that's great, that's what I like. Shit. When I went right. to jail, Yo, niggas gotta give these young niggas credit, bro. When I went to jail, Gil took my whole rap style. I I, I used to write for him. He took my shit. Get the fuck out of here. When I went to jail, you know that. Well, he nigga. mad because he I found out he was the captain of the wrestling team in jail. The fuck out of here. It was no wrestling <laughs> team in jail. You know that ass nigga. <laughs> That's why Gina be giving you GS is golden showers, nigga. No, Tammy, I got a golden shower before, but I'm pretty sure Tammy gave Waka golden shower, too. They've been together as long as me and Toothpick. She be flying out the fucking windows, you pee on me. No, come on. You've been in the shower before and little done Sweet twinkle down your leg. Your leg. Stop uh, front. She, uh, stop front. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Your leg got warm. Oh, that's a little different. Hey, that, hey listen, man. This me and Osworth for Game, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country, man. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out my guy, Walker, man. Always been a solid nigga, man. Thank you for coming through, bruh. Make sure y'all he already told y'all everything he got going on, but tell him once again, Walk, so they can get in tune, they could buy, they could purchase, buy, buy, buy. That's what we do. Man, hit me at walkerflocker.com, uh Dro Life on Twitter. Follow our uh, premise is the cognac name. P R I P P R E M I S is premise. Excuse mm-hmm. me. And uh, meet the flockers. Uh, I said meet the flockers. What the flocker March twelfth. 
Make sure y'all lock in. My wife got an album coming out. Make sure y'all lock in. Oh, what's the name of your wife's album? Conversations. Conversations. That's what's up, man. Shout out to Walker for coming through once again, man. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wilo267. And it's just like that. Right.